major scare for passengers out at Nashville International Airport after a plane skidded off the runway and landed in a ditch. The plane had just arrived from Houston but ran into trouble before arriving at the gate. Yeah, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is live at Nashville International Airport tonight with new information. She spoke with passengers right after they got to the terminal. So Emily, what did they have to say? Well, you know, it certainly caught them off guard, especially because the plane had already landed and was just taxiing to the gate. Now, you can see the plane here behind me is still sitting on the runway. Emergency crews are still on the scene and will be investigating for several hours. Passengers say all of a sudden they felt a bump, they heard a pop, and then they realized that the plane had gone off the runway. All I do know is that we landed, and then next thing you know, we're skidding off the road, and I'm looking at the wing, and it looks as if we're about to topple over. And then we stop in the ditch. I mean, you realize you were on the runway, so you're probably not going to die. There's no smoke, but you just kind of wonder what happened. Did we hit somebody? Did we hit a plane, a truck? And what, what did we do? Then you get out and realize you're in a ditch. Here's a look at the plane from Sky 5. Southwest Flight 31 arrived in Nashville from Houston Hobby Airport just before 5.30. The FAA says after landing, the plane rolled off the taxiway and got stuck before reaching the gate. And this is a closer look at the plane from some pictures taken by passengers. The Metro Nashville Airport Authority, Metro Fire, and EMS officials all responded to the scene. 133 passengers and five crew members were on board. Passengers said that they were told to evacuate quickly through emergency exits, but the flight crew handled everything very calmly and efficiently. The passengers were then taken by bus to the terminal where they had to wait on their luggage until the investigation at the scene concluded. The Nashville Fire Department says eight people were taken to Summit Medical Center with minor injuries, and one passenger said she was actually injured during the evacuation process. That was actually the problem. It was when I got to the end of the slide, there was someone in front of me, so I stopped at the end of the slide, but the person behind me came into me, and that's when I was injured. Really, it was getting hit by the person behind me in the slide. Now, it's still unknown what caused the plane to veer off the runway. Southwest Airlines did release a statement about the incident, saying, in part, we are coordinating with local airport officials and responding agencies. The safety of our customers and employees remains our primary focus. Reporting live at Nashville International Airport, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thank you. The FAA is investigating the incident. Nashville airport officials say all runways are open. The incident did not cause any flight delays.